there's this surge of like people that want to be influencers and influencing is now becoming a very, very legit career. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good, hope you're well. So I've been seeing some comments. Thank you so much for the comments um, about my makeup and my look. And I appreciate it, one, because I love a good compliment. And also because I actually have switched up my makeup and how I do my makeup when I film. And so thanks for noticing. So um, a few of you were asking, can I show you the routine, the makeup look? And I shall, it's gonna be a quick video because it is a very quick <laughs> makeup routine. I don't really know how to do makeup like that. So this is all I got. I don't do eyeshadow, nothing like that. And yes, I switched it up ever so slightly because I felt like my makeup was just not makeuping. <laughs> and so I looked up some like tips and ways that people do it and that is how I do it now. So I'll show you. Is this an everyday makeup routine? Not really because I don't even wear makeup anymore because we're in a panorama. So I'm not going anywhere. And so really and truly I only do this look when I'm filming and then when the world opens up, this might become my going out look. So yes, let's get into it. But, you know, it wouldn't be me if I just did a makeup routine in silence. I'm going to chat with you guys, talk about what's on my mind, what's been going on. So um, yeah, stick with me and we will get straight into it. Okay, so first things first is I use this, which <laughs> for the longest time I thought was a, I thought it was a brow brush, but it's not. It is a clear mascara, but it does the job. It's from, I wanna say it's from Bobby. No. Oh, it's from Collection. You know that one in Superdrug, that's like really cheap. And it does the job. So all I do now is I just brush my brows. that's pretty much it just try to keep it oh try to keep it a good shape right now what day is it today it's snowing right now no oh it's gone it was snowing it's raining now it's sunday i'm actually re recording this on the day that i'm putting it out which is just not it's not good because i should really have a bit of a backlog but i don't guys i'm struggling with productivity i am struggling but um i'm struggling with it in that like sometimes i find it hard to knuckle down and get productive but then I also struggle with it because like I really put pressure on myself um and like today for example I kind of stay in bed a bit late and I just feel like my mood I can't be my mood just can't be basically it changes my mood based on my productivity which is really bad like yesterday I woke up early I did some stuff around the house and I felt really good but my mood shouldn't be determined by how productive I am. And also it's the weekend, like damn Madela, it's the weekend. Um, but yeah, I need to really get out of that funk of being too hard on myself, but I need to also obviously find that balance of working hard. Hello eyebrows, are you incorporating today? Does anyone else feel that? Because work is, wait, before we get into work, that is my eyebrows, done. And then I do sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling, then go in and fill it in. So I will do that. I'm using <laughs> a brown brush from, this is gonna be bad because I actually don't know where most of my makeup's from. It's just a brown pencil, nothing special about it. Um, and I'll just like kind of do a line underneath and then sometimes try to fill in some bits at the front. Um, I was saying, yeah, work is uh, killing me right now. It's in a good way. It's, it's busy. Um, I'm progressing. I'm doing lots of things that I enjoy. Um, like working on skills that I want to work on. So that's all good. Um, and those of you that know, I work in marketing. Um, and social media is a big part of my job. And so I also struggle with seeing social media as enjoyment as well. So sometimes like, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you might see that pop up and I'll do something kind of interactive or something on my stories and I, or I go through like a week or a month of really posting consistently and then I fall off and I really try to be consistent, but there is a part of me that's like, social media is work in my head. And so, I don't know. I don't know if my mind is just like, oh, stress, work, when it's really not. 
um but i really do inter like interacting with you guys and people who follow me um i just sometimes get a bit overwhelmed like i'll ask a question i'm like yay people are responding and then i look at my dms and i've got like even if it's something like eight or ten i'm like oh my gosh it's too much but um at the end of the day i do like interacting with you guys on social media so i just need to figure out a system or give myself like i don't know an hour a night or something just to be active and then sort of hibernate again <laughs> um but yeah also social media is like i've got I, I feel like i've mentioned this so many times i have a love hate relationship with social media right now um okay so what do i do next i'm forgetting oh crap wow oh, flip sake okay i forgot the first step but i just have to avoid my brows is um a primer and this is by rimmel london fix and perfect primer it's good i don't really i'm not a primer person i can't lie and i believe I got this for free somewhere, somehow, someplace. I know I didn't buy it, so I got it somehow. Um, maybe in like a bag, goodie bag or something. And yeah, I like it. But like I said, I'm not a primer person, so I honestly don't even know like if I can compare it to anything. But what I do like about it is it does give me this like, this feeling of like, it's like I have a layer of, um, what's the word, like a, like a, smooth suede almost feeling which makes me feel like yeah, that's doing that's doing what a primer should do right um almost like smoothing out your pores or whatever let me trying to use the lingo um so yeah i like it but usually i do this before my brows anyways what was i saying yeah you guys probably know i have a love hate relationship with social media i love it because it's just a good platform i've been here since not since the beginning, but yeah, I guess it's the beginning all the way, but let's go all the way back to MSN and Bebo. <laughs> Bebo's coming back. Anyways, that's in, that's different news. Um, MSN and Bebo days, and then I was like, probably one of the first people I know to have Instagram as well, when we thought it was a photography app, remember that? <laughs> um, so I do like it for that reason, in that I just like how it worked. Obviously, I like it enough to work in that field. And I like how clever you can be from a business side with it so i do like that and i like interacting with you guys i feel like my network has expanded so much just by being there like there's so many people i wouldn't know or have ever spoken to if not for that the hate the hate comes to be honest i don't think i hate social media i think i hate society <laughs> not so, yeah i think i have issues with society and social media is just a tool that a lot of people use to do a lot of what I think bad things, you know, mob mentality, cancel culture, bullying, just just the way people act on social media, I don't like it. I'm just like, this is weird. You would never talk to someone like this in real life. And yet here you are. Okay, primer done. That took way too long because I can't multitask. So I don't know who told me to do a chat chat. Get ready with me. <laughs> me. I told myself to do it. Okay, moving on to my foundation. It uh flipping echadella. I forgot. I think it's finished. It's finished, but not to worry, I have something else. Anyway, so what I usually use is this one from Body Shop. Um, Fresh Nude Foundation with SPF. Number 075, if you think you are the same tone as me and you want to get it. I like it. It is very light coverage. I think when I get a new one, I might explore some heavier coverage foundations. But I like it. Uh, but it is... Oh! Okay, I'm gonna keep pumping until I get what I get, and then I'll move on to my backup. Oh, I don't usually put up my hand. I feel like I'm wasting. Anyways, okay, that I'm just gonna use that until it finishes. But what I was gonna say is, I actually do have this tester from somewhere. Don't ask me where, but my best friend Kemi, if you're watching this, sorry, left it with me. Like, girl, it's been about two years now, so I've held on to it for as long as I can. <laughs> but I think we're the same skin tone. There's debates, but I think we're the same skin tone. So, um, if this finishes, I'll use this. But I really don't. I don't use that much anyway, so it's all good. And yes, this is just a foundation brush from somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, as I said, social media, it can be a scary place, you know. Do you know what it is? Re as of late, recently, I feel like anybody can get it now. It's not even just like the outspoken or the controversial. I feel like everybody, can, anybody can get cancelled. I'll never forget what you did to my babes, or she's not my babes, we don't know each other, uh, Nella Rose on 
Twitter and I just felt like that was nasty. So um, I just thought at that point I was like, ah, nobody's safe out here. So it is a bit scary being on social media now, I can't lie. I am going to do a video. I Thanks thanks as well for the comments on my video essays. It seems like you guys are liking them. Um, but I'm going to do a video about that, about influencers and the relationships that we have with influencers and why there's some bad to it. I can't lie. There is some bad to the, what's the word I'm looking for, the pedestal that we hold influencers up to. And I'm not saying like, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't um, look up to them. Anyways, let me not, let me not cannibalize my next video. But I don't think influencers sometimes deserve the, the responsibility that they hold up to. Um, deserve as in like they deserve more grace than we give them not they don't deserve the platform I mean you'll see when I finally get around to recording that video is that enough Adela is that enough no I'm lying when I do videos I definitely use more so I'm going to move on to my backup I'm so sorry Kerry I honestly don't know what foundation this is I'm just going to use the bit in the lid uh, but yes where was I social media yeah i'm just you know there's a lot i love and there's a lot i hate about it and it does make creating content quite difficult but i do really like the people who follow me i know everybody says this but i do think my followers are like really cool peeps and as i said with work things are progressing and so i'm kind of in a space now where i want to think about how i use my time um and whether it's time to almost like really focus on my career for a bit i mean i was i always focus on it but i mean like next level focus what does that mean for my channel i think i can still up, i mean it's not like i upload every day do you know what i mean i upload i try to upload once a week so it shouldn't be too much of an issue is that enough i'm not paying attention but um yeah i need to figure that out again as i speak video topics are flying out because i do also want to talk about being quote unquote a boss babe you know that aesthetic where it's like uh female entrepreneurs and all that stuff that's not me but i have a lot to say about it <laughs> about like us working hard and was it zz mills my friend was telling me about something that she said i didn't see it myself but about wanting to her wanting to be sometimes just wanting to be mediocre black woman but feeling like she has to really be the best of the best because obviously you know what they say about how hard we have to work to be half as good type thing um, so yeah, I've got a lot to say about that. Um, I also feel like we are kind of living in a time now. Okay, wait, before I move on, because multitask, um, concealer. So this is the, I'd say this is the main thing about my routine that's changed. So what I used to do is I used to put foundation all over and then I used to go over with concealer. And, um, I want to say, was it? So I watched a few different makeup routines to help me find my routine and one of them was it was it Yvonne Victoria is that her name yeah she's UK yeah it was her or someone in America I don't know and they were just saying like obviously don't do that just do your foundation and then go in with a lot oh no it might have been someone else anyways go in with the thingy the concealer like leave room for the concealer or even do it first or whatever which is what I used to do and I don't know why I stopped doing that so I'm gonna do that and I I, I, I now put much more concealer because i really like the under the bright under eye look i was gonna say as well right now i feel like we're living especially no it, it's been happening but now with the panorama that we're in um there's this surge of like people that want to be influencers um and influencing is now becoming a very very legit career okay so basically i go down all the way down here and then all the way up there so that's what i'm going to be doing um yeah it's become a very legit career like it's obviously when something makes money it becomes a job right so it's always been a legit job but like i don't think a lot of people saw it that way or they didn't really if they thought maybe you nah, it's not like that easy and it's not but as now influencer marketing has become like the money i, I read a report i can't remember it's like a, obviously it's like a multi-million dollar industry but like it's growing um versus other forms of advertising and media so naturally a lot of people want to be influencers 
um a lot of people are actively pursuing it like i feel like the og influencers from way back you, when you when you hear their story none of them were actually trying to be an influencer because it didn't really exist they were just doing what they were doing and then they would grow in their influence status type thing whereas now people are actively starting instagram starting youtube to become influencers nothing wrong with that i don't think it's i just think i think it's, it's a legit business model i feel like where the issue might lie and it's top to me it's the same with any industry where the issue might lie is when people join because they think it's the easy route and i'll be honest for some people it probably is like for example if you fit a certain look or a certain standard or criteria you probably will find it easier like there's a lot of people who are rich and famous because they are pretty they're like yeah they're pretty they're attractive um they've got a certain look they're just they're rich they're cool do you know what i mean there are ways that make it easier but overall a lot of people join and think join <laughs> join a platform i'll try to become an influencer because i think it's the easy route when actually it's not because statistically i would say it's the minority that really do make it to like rich influencer status um and also there's money <laughs> there's money to be made i think that's one of the issues is that there's actually so much money to be made oh, in other ways um and i feel like there's less of an attraction or desire to work a nine to five or be in a corporate life and i get it because it's not for everyone and it's, it's hard but um yeah some would argue that I think a lot of people would argue that being an influencer is easier. But in reality, a lot of influencers, I think, would probably, or I don't know, but they probably would tell you that, actually, you know, it's harder. So there's that. And then um, I obviously do some, okay, so I'm using a beauty blender and I'm literally just going to dab. And this is another area where I used to sort of brush it and then all the makeup would come off. And so basically what I do now is I just go really small movement. So plenty of time to talk. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, because I obviously think about it sometimes. Like I've had my YouTube channel for ages, but I wouldn't say, obviously I'm monetizing that, you know, it's there's ads on there and like the occasional, very occasional sponsored video. Um, but I wouldn't even say my channel, like I, I know I haven't been that consistent, I haven't been consistently consistent. So I'm probably not as big as I would have been if I was, which is fine. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do think about it. I'm just like, you know, where do I want to take this? Do I want to, would I want to do YouTube and stuff, all of that stuff full time? And I don't know, you know, I really don't know. I haven't figured it out yet because half, sometimes I'm like, yeah, if I was making a decent, if I was making a good income from YouTube, would I like leave my career? And like sometimes maybe 20% of the time my thought process is, yeah, I would. And then the other time I'm like, mm, I don't know, like maybe I want to work my way up in my career and um you know make my make my name and my um income that way um especially when i'm doing stuff when i'm doing well in my career i really like get motivated and feel like yeah i could i could see myself being like a chief whatever like c-suite level um and I wonder if a lot of people are having this battle now, now that influencing has become such a, like a viable career option. But I do feel like be, wanting to be an influencer because you think it's the easy way to get money. Wanting to do anything because you think it's the easy way to get money, I feel like it's probably not gonna be, it's not gonna work for you because it's like people who wanna, I don't know, trade. Or do whatever trade in because they think it's easy i think anytime we try to pursue money out of try to do something because it's easy we usually end up being in for a shock um not to say things can't be easy and i'm also a firm believer of like why stress myself out if i don't need to but yeah just something to think about food for thought am i done i'm not that close to the mirror right now so i think i'm done so do you see this is the big difference that my new routine has sort of showed me is that um yeah more concealer basically more concealer um this is definitely not an everyday routine i don't think i'd wear this like if i was going to work every day or something 
um, it's quite heavy in my opinion. But for the camera, when I'm filming a video, it does the job. Okay, what do I do next? What do I do next? Oh yeah, and then I go in with, where are you? I go in with this, which is from NYX. And it is a, um, it's a concealer, but as you can see, it is way darker than me. So I use it for contouring. And all I do, not too much, because it's very dark. It's probably darker than I should have got, but whatever. Is I just dot it around where I'm gonna contour. So I do the classic three. And I like to start light so that if I need to go darker, I can, but it's harder to lighten it up. So where was I? Yeah. Lots of things going through my head right now. But I keep going back to my career, but I really am kind of happy right now with the, the, the trajectory of it. And I've I kind of, kind of like a discover kind of a like, wow. I've kind of discovered like a new area within my experience that I really kind of want to tap into that I wasn't aware of before, if that makes sense. Um, maybe I'll share more news on that another time but yeah I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying yeah I'm enjoying it oh another big thing that's happened to me recently I don't know if it's big but I've really kind of not figured out I don't know a while ago I said to you guys I think that I'm, in, I'm having a quarter life crisis for real um, and I felt like that never really went away but I feel like I'm in a place now where I know what what I need to work on on myself if that makes sense so I know um I'm gonna put a bit more I know like something about something was off basically and I was like something needs to be done and I figured it out basically um and the revelation I came to was essentially that I need to work on being more secure in myself and knowing myself so basically I need to spend some time getting to know myself which is a bit mad because after 27 years, I still don't know myself. I know myself, but I need to, okay, so, okay. Oh, let me start from the beginning. So I know myself in that, I know like, I'm very critical of myself. So I know, oh Adela, you're like this and you need to work on this area, blah, blah, blah. Um, my sister, yeah, she's been really into like Enneagrams recently. And so I, I've learned that I'm an Enneagram type seven. And um, she always sends me stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, so true. But essentially I'm a peacemaker, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the core of who I am. I just like peace, I want everyone to be in peace and harmony. And I don't like trouble, I don't like stress, I don't like pressure. And my version of pressure is probably not even pressure to other people. Like anything that disrupts my, this peace that I want to surround me really, really bothers me. Which is all good, there's, there's positives to it. I'm a peacemaker, my friends probably find it easy to talk to me, I'm not judgmental, that kind of stuff. And I can see like both sides, I'm empathetic and see both sides of the story what needs work now is basically not losing myself because of that and not being so neutral to the point where i don't even know what i um what i want and what works for me and um being with someone like keith who is very much the opposite and he knows he knows what he believes he's very um sure in himself which is great it just, it, I've, it's, it's, I've noticed that I need to be sure of myself. Otherwise I can easily, not in a malicious way, cause he's not being malicious, but I can easily like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Become, I don't know what the word is, but basically not, not believe in my own self and my own truths. So yeah, that's what basically what I'm working on now is known areas that I should really like get uncomfortable in, confrontation being one of the biggest ones, get comfortable having difficult conversations, get comfortable speaking up for myself and for others and stuff, um, believing in myself more, being more confident in myself and my abilities, um, not being afraid of, yeah, tough conversations basically. Also knowing what brings me joy and not sort of just like being quote unquote lazy with my development so knowing stuff about myself and knowing what i need in order to sort of function properly even if it's like oh, i need to be speaking to my friends what i eat oops 
even if it's like, oh, I need to be speaking to my friends every so often because that's what gives me energy, even if it's, yeah, there's just so many things I'm figuring out about myself basically. And I'm happy because I like that I now know myself and now I can say, God, help me. <laughs> and that's another thing, making sure that is the foundation. Making sure that in getting to know myself, I'm essentially starting with what I know is the truth, which is the word of God. All right, something that, this was Yvonne Victoria, she said that she does, I think she said she puts contour around her lips. I didn't understand it yet, but I did it and I I get it, but I can't explain it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it. But it like almost gives you this like shadow that's not, um, it's not a lip line, but it's not like, ugh, I don't have to explain it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, next up is my Ben Nye Banana Powder, um, which I just put obviously where I've put the contour, and then I've got another darker powder, which I'll put where I put, no, sorry, I'm gonna put Ben Nye where I put the contour, and then I'm gonna put the darker powder where I put the contour. So taking another Beauty Blender, and I don't bake, because I don't, I don't understand it, I don't get it, so I don't bake, maybe I should, but I just, Press it in. On the whole journey of finding myself, honestly, I blame lockdown, so thanks God. It's been uncomfortable, it's been hard, um, but I am hopefully committed to really working on myself. I'm working on getting to know me, it should be fun. Can't wait to get to know you, Adele. <laughs> Has anyone else had any like epiphanies and revelations in lockdown? Um, I'm sure, I feel like lockdown has just really, it's, it's weird how much, how much a slight change in our routine can affect everyone. Um, obviously the biggest thing that's been affected is, you know, coronaviruses out there and stuff. But um, that aside, just like the day-to-day -day stuff that is affected, us being at home more, us, be basically not being able to do some of the things that we normally would be able to do with no restrictions has really changed with a lot of people and made us like some people it's good some people it's bad and some people it's just like a mix of both for me it's been like hard but overall i think the outcome is going to be positive if that makes sense like the the learnings and stuff um positive on my marriage even though that's been hard positive on my personality and my character even though that's been hard so yeah, let me know in the comments, like if you guys have had any lockdown, I wanna make it another L word, lockdown learning, lockdown learnings, yeah, we all do that. Okay, this is taking longer because I'm talking to y'all, but powder's kind of done. Mm -mm -mm. I used to really like the dewy look and I still do, but I don't know how to achieve it without not setting my makeup. I did have, yeah, it's finished. All my makeup's finished. I probably should have done this when I had new makeup. But I did have um, this spray from Body Shop, which was like a dewy rose mist thing. Um, but it's finished. So what I use, um, oh my gosh, have you guys been seeing the, everything I've held up? Damn it. I've been holding it up, but I don't know if I've seen it, shown it in the camera. Anyways, I'll link it down below. Um, this Morphe palette, contour palette. I don't really use that, I don't know why. I do use the, can you even see? The dark side um, with this angled brush from Morphe as well. Oh yeah, I bought them together. Um, and then I just take that and I go over the bits where I've contoured. Oh, it's coming together nicely. Like I said, I don't do eyeshadows and stuff because I even sometimes I do lashes, but honestly, sometimes it just fails. And today, I know it's gonna be one of those days, so I'm not doing lashes today. I'm doing mascara. Um, speaking of mascara, I, this is almost finished, but I used, damn it, Maybelline, it's, it's, it's faded. Maybelline, I think it's called like, something drama or something. Yeah, I'm gonna link it down below, but it looks like this, I'm sure you've seen it. And it's, it's on its last, last bit of liquid to be honest. 
You know, I just put on my eyelashes. On the topic of video essays, let me know if there are other topics. I've talked about, I've already done two, I've talked about beauty standards and body image. I have some, I have a list of things I want to film next. But these videos do take longer, which I don't mind at all because I feel like the response has been reflective of the effort that I put in, which is good. Um, but it takes more time because I have to do like, I know what I think, but then I, I, I like to have some research and stuff to make it a bit more solid rather than just saying this is what I think. Do you guys see this under my lip, under my nose? I get Sula, sweaty upper lip, but it's not sweat. It's like breathing hot air onto my cold, cold face and I get some condensation. So usually I don't put makeup around here, but I do recently and it's such a faff. Anyways, do I need to do my eyebrows again? Are they gone a bit? I don't like, let me just, let me just dab. I use NARS Orgasm to, um, for my cheeks. This is the colour. Yep, yep, yep. Um, do I like it? I got it for free because I went to this event once. I don't know. Do you know what the best blush is? Which I don't know if they know if they make anymore. It's Sleek and it's Sunrise. It's called Sunrise by Sleek. Do I still have? Oh, I've got it. Do I have it. Hold on. I do, but it's it's so little left. Like it's this one, Sleek by, and it's Sunrise. I don't even know if they make it, but as you can see, it's like mine is just. Oh, I can't even tip it. I can't even show it because it'll tip out. Oh, yeah. Anyways. I just put it on my cheeks. It's not really anything in there. And there's this trend, have you noticed it? It's mostly, actually no, everyone's doing it, but um, I see it on TikTokers and they put like, they make their nose really rosy. I'm not mad at it, so I'm just gonna do some of that. But I'm not gonna go as extreme. Some of them look like, I think they're trying to look like, like cartoony, which is kind of a look, but I'm not gonna go that far. I am gonna. Make it a bit rosy. Oh, did I go too far? Do you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, and then I think that is. Am I forgetting something? Oh, obviously my lips. But like, apart from that, I think that's my face done. And then with my lips, I struggle. I can't lie to you. I struggle because I'm trying to find my perfect nude without looking like. I feel like it always looks a bit grey and ashy, and I don't know if my perfect nude is supposed to be like more brown or if it's supposed to be like pinky or if it's i don't know but anyways i'm gonna show you what i do and i haven't perfected it yet but obviously i just go in with the pencil which is the same one i used on my eyebrows can't lie i tried to overline my lips once and it did not look good so we're not gonna do that my cute is bone there Loads of people like Keith's though, but I actually like girls without them. Isn't that funny? You always want what we don't have. And they look like more plump when it's just like, I like it, I like it. Anyways, so I do that and then I go in with this, which I have no idea where it's from. Oh, Primark. Okay, it's Primark and it's like this, this nude. It's too light for me, but we're not done. Don't worry. Actually, it's not too light. Just go in with that and then kind of trying to blend in, bling, blend in my liner. But wait, we're not done. Then I go in with this NYX um, Butter Gloss, Lip Gloss, that's the colour, Butter Gloss, I think, yep. Yeah. I go over with that and I try to like bring in some of the liner as well. I love a dark liner, like a like you even try to blend it, but I don't know if it suits me. I think it suits girls that are a bit edgier. There we go. And then sometimes I think mm, it looks too nude. So then I'll go in with like a pink colour, like this from Rimmel. Why have I got all this Rimmel stuff that I didn't buy? I must have had a goodie bag, but anyways, it's Rimmel and it's called Apocalypse. <laughs> Get it? Um, and I don't know what colour it is. Oh, apocalyptic might be the colour. Anyways, it's this pink, very, 
very vibrant pink and I just do just to bring some pink into my lips if I think I need it. And then we're not done. I also have this, which is by Barry M. And I don't know why I bought this color because it's way not my color, but what it is good for is just in the middle. Giving you that really like wet, light, bright look in the middle. And then <laughs> sometimes I go back in with the liner. So blend it all in one more time. And I think we're done. Okay, let me slap on a wig and I'll show you the finished look. Voila, here we have it, the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, like I said, I said a lot, <laughs> I said a lot in the video. So let me know your thoughts on any of the things I was talking about in the comments down below. And follow me on Instagram if you are not already. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Everything will be linked down below. <laughs>